raise your hand if you have ever been so drained from your business, from marketing, from whatever it is, that you just can't come up with any more ideas, creative ideas, ideas that matter, ideas that move the needle. I know it's happened to me. And today I'm going to share with you my tips of where to find inspiration and motivation to get back on track again. Are you ready to get started? I know I am. Episode 318 starts right now. Hey there, welcome to The Laura Shipman Show. We hang out here weekly to talk about things like social media, entrepreneurship, marketing, tools, strategies, tips, and it all starts right now. Hey there, before we get started with this show, I just want to share my passion with you. I love teaching people just like you how to master social media for business, breaking it down into easy to consume and easy to execute steps so that you can see immediate results. So whether you want to start a social media consultancy or grow your brand's presence on social media, I can help. I can help you get started and master all the things that you need to know. So I want you to go over to my website. It is filled with resources, tools, tips, and courses. Visit laurashipman.com. That's L-O-R-A Shipman.com to get all the goods. Now you ready for the show? I know I am. Let's get started. Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the show. I'm so glad you are here with me today because we're going to talk some real talk today. You know what it's like as a business owner, a social media manager, a content creator, an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, sometimes content can get stale and dry and boring and you don't know where your next great idea is going to come from. And it's really, really hard when you are trying to market your business, right? And trying to get it in front of the right audience and get them excited about your business, your product, your service, just as excited as you are about it. But when you've lost that inspiration for it, it can be really hard to fake it. So today I'm going to tell you what I do to help me reconnect with that passion and and ignite that flame, that spark, that fire in my belly to make my business thrive. One of the first things I try and do for myself is just check in with myself and see, am I just burnt out? Have I been doing too much? Have I been working too much? Have my days gotten longer? My weekends gotten shorter? And if the answer is yes, it's a sign that I just need a break from it for a little bit so that I can get refreshed. And then once I'm refreshed, I usually come back and bounce back and it's all good. But if it's not a burnout situation, if it's just a creativity situation and you have to figure out where you're going to get your next great idea, these are the things that I do. First thing I do is change my environment. I go work somewhere else. I love my office. Um, For those of you who have been following for a while, you know we moved into our dream house a couple years ago and I got to design my office the way I wanted it and I love being here. It's a little oasis for me, but sometimes I'm in these four walls for a little too long. So I have found that two places in my home actually make creativity flow for me. One of them is I love writing from the couch. So sometimes I will just pick up my laptop and sit on the couch and write there. Or the other place is out on our patio when the weather's not 110 degrees and 100% humidity in Florida. I will go right on the patio. So And if either of those places aren't working for me, then I'll really change my environment and I'll go to a coffee shop. I'll go to a restaurant. We have this really cool wine bar near us that I'll go just take my laptop and a glass of wine and hang out and get some work. And it's amazing what a change of scenery can do for you and your business and your creativity. And for those of you who also know me well, you know I love to go cruising. So my husband and I will take a cruise every once in a while And believe it or not, I'll bring my laptop on the cruise with me because you get those sea days. And I love sea days for working because again, it's just a different feel, a different vibe. It doesn't feel like I'm working when I'm on a cruise and um, the, the ideas flow. So think about how you can change your environment. And like I said, you don't necessarily always have to leave your office or get out of the house or whatever it is. You just need to change it a little bit, tweak it so that it feels different and it gives you a new source of energy. The other thing that really helps me out a lot is listening to or watching 
other content creators in my niche or somebody similar to what I do or motivational speakers. So what I'll do is I'll grab my earphones and head out for a walk and I will listen to podcasts, listen to YouTube channels, and I'll even listen to like reels and stuff like that. And it just gives me a different perspective when I hear what somebody else is doing and how excited they are about their business. I tend to get excited and kind of along that same vein, is reading books. I really like reading motivational books, business books. All of those authors are so extremely passionate about what they're writing about that you just can't help but feel that leap off the pages to you. And it gives you another mindset, another frame to work from, another lens to work from. And I usually get excited and can't wait to get back into my business to do the things that helps my business grow. Another way that I get motivated and inspired is by actually presenting content to people in a live situation. So whether it's at a networking event, I'm speaking on stage somewhere, or I am teaching somebody or mentoring somebody, going to networking events, whatever. If I'm helping somebody in a situation and I'm teaching them how to do something and I see the light go off in their head, like, oh my God, I get it. I get what she's saying. I can't wait to go implement that in my business. That feeling of actually helping somebody get over their hump or get over their struggle lights me up. So whenever I can help somebody do, you know, work with their business and grow their business, it really gets me excited about, oh, okay, if they understood this concept, what if I tweaked it a little bit and help them take it one step further? So think about how you can mentor people in your everyday life? Is it mentoring clients? Is it mentoring somebody who is maybe a couple of steps behind you? Is it creating a podcast or a YouTube channel that helps people grow in their business? You'll be amazed at how much inspiration you get from that. And I can't explain it, why it works so well, but it's one of my favorite ways to get inspired to do something different and new in my business and actually talk about my business so that it's an infectious thing that my audience hears and they get excited too. Collaboration is a great way to get re-inspired in your business and in your content. Working with somebody else helps you see your business and your content and your information from a different point of view. And working together and putting and making something really great for an audience is a fun way to get your spark back. So if you haven't collaborated with anybody, I highly recommend it. it. It's just, it's great because then you get to bounce things off each other. You get to brainstorm from me. You get to brainstorm with each other. And, um, when you do that, you're usually working with somebody else who just kind of gets it Right. And if you've ever been in that situation where you're, you find somebody who just gets it, it's, it's just amazing because the ideas flow. So there's a friend of mine, her name is Angie, and she and I are kind of in the same space. And I swear to God, we are the only two people who get it in the world. She'll call me just to talk about tech stuff and marketing stuff in business growth. And I always feel so good when I get off the phone with her because we shared so many ideas that it just is like a, um, a domino effect, right? The next idea comes and the next idea come, comes. So really try and collaborate, find a partner, find somebody that you can talk to and bounce ideas off of. It will really, really help in that creative space. This next one is a little different, but it really helps me. And maybe you already do this, but get out of your niche and go get information from a totally different world. And I mean like polar opposite and just watch how these people present the information, present the content, explain things, how they use graphics. And all of a sudden the light bulb will go off in your head and you'll say, why isn't anybody doing this in my space? You can be that person when everybody is zigging, you're going to zag and present something in a different way that's going to actually click with people and make a difference. I love doing that because everybody in your space kind of follows the same formula. And if you can shake up that formula just a little bit, it could make all the difference. Another way to get inspiration, to get motivated, to find your creativity and to get your mojo back is use AI. I'm serious. Go over to ChatGPT 
and just throw something in there and see what it comes back with. And even though it's robotic and it's automated and artificial and all that great stuff, there's value in that. While it's not your voice, they are ideas that you can turn into your voice. So don't discount that at all. Um, While we're on the digital landscape, also go check out Answer the Public. That's a great tool too, because you can see what people are searching. Use Pinterest as an idea generator, and maybe you already do that. I tend to forget about Pinterest a lot. I'm not a big Pinterest person, but if you go in there and just search, you know, what people are looking for in your niche and in your space, you can get some really, really great ideas. So those are my tips for getting re-inspired about your business, about your marketing, about your creativity. And I know feeling drained and uninspired is not a lot of fun. And the one thing you have to remember about it is it's natural, right? We all go through it, even though it may not look like people in your space on social media are going through what you're going through right now. Because if you tapped on this podcast, you're probably experiencing just a little bit of it, but it's normal and it's natural and we all go through it. And sometimes there is just comfort in knowing that, that even the best of the best get stuck in a rut and need something, some little trick or some little mojo to get them out. And those are the things that I do to help me get out. All right, my friend. Well, that does it for this episode. I'm glad you joined me today. Go find your mojo, go find your inspiration and let me know what tips and tricks you use when your creativity is dwindling. Okay. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay social. Hey there, I just want to say thank you for spending time with me here today. I know your time is super valuable, which is why I am dedicated to providing lots of usable, actionable information in the shortest amount of time possible. Before you go, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a future episode. And if you have ideas or topics you would like me to cover in an upcoming show, let me know about it in the comment section provided. 